hunting and, and potentially throwing his role in hunting really did change the way that we as a species work. So by including more high protein meat and high calorie fat into our diet, uh, we were able to sort of invest more in larger bodies and, and larger brains and eventually more babies. And those changes really had significant effects uh, down the line in terms of all the things that we think uh, make us human. We're the only creature in the world that can throw really hard and really fast at the same time. And we made two major discoveries. When you throw, you cock your arm back. And when you do that, you're stretching, basically loading your upper arm like a catapult or a sling. And what we discovered was that about half the energy that you impart to a, to a ball or a spear when you throw it comes from that elastic energy storage. And we also discovered that some interesting features of the body only make sense in terms of that motion. There's a twist to your humerus. The, the, the shoulder part and the elbow part are actually at different orientations. And in people who throw a lot, there's actually asymmetry and they actually have more of a twist in their arm. And that asymmetry actually enables you to cock your arm back further. So really good pitchers can rotate their arm backwards, stir up more elastic energy, and then impart more energy to the ball. Around two million years ago, we see evidence of intensified hunting activity. We see more butchered bones, more stone tools. Throwing was an important part of hunting. It enabled our hominid ancestors who didn't really have any weapons, no bows, no, no guns, no snares, no nets, uh, to hunt using simple technology like rocks or sharpened wooden sticks. We live such unusual lives. I mean, we sit all day long at desks and drive in cars and take airplanes and eat breakfast cereal that comes from a box. But, you know, a few hundred generations ago, everybody was a hunter-gatherer. So we have to realize that much of our bodies evolved for, for, for things that we don't do much anymore. Today, of course, we throw for sports, but it's just for fun. And we've kind of lost touch of just how critically important a behavior it is to being a human being.